what's in there? DJ writes, just wanted to ask, when you rate a movie, what do you look at? Me, I look at three things. First, the experience. Did you leave the movie excited and wanting more? Did you leave happy or were you disappointed? Second, did the casting fit the roles and did the actors and actress deliver in the movie? Third, did their story fit the movie and the characters in the movie? For me personally, I'm, I mean, I'm a little... I'm very approach it very fanishly. I I don't go into a movie personally with a long checklist of things to say. Did you do this right? Did you do this right? No, no, no. Ultimately, for me, it's more visceral than that. Movies are meant to make you feel. They're experiential by nature. Did I feel fear or humor or hope or inspiration or terror or st stress or whatever it is or outrage? Whatever it is that that movie is targeting to make you feel, did it make me feel? And on that basis alone, really for me, is how I personally evaluated it when I came out and did it give me that emotional experience, whichever emotion it's going to. Now, after I established that, yeah, I'll talk about the individual things that I thought were really well done in the film, or but they could do a hundred things well, but if I didn't have an emotional response to the movie, I'm still not gonna like it. I can say, yes, yeah, cinematography is great, visual effects are great, whatever, but it didn't do it. And I may come out and nitpick about a bunch of things. Oh, they did this wrong and this guy wasn't good in it. But if I came out of that movie having that emotional, visceral experience and I enjoyed it, none of those things are gonna make me dislike the movie. I still love it, but I can still talk about the things I liked and disliked. So for me, it's just on a very basic kind of primal level. Did it elicit the emotional response that they wanted me to have? And if so, then for me, the movie worked. I don't know, Schnepp, what about you? What, what's kind of your criteria when you go in and then come out of a theater? Well, I think, uh, you know, the way movies movies are marketed and they're put into these kind of subgenres like this is a comedy, this is a science fiction film, this is a fantasy film, this is an action, this is just a thriller. So if I go see a film like I'm going to go see The Witch, I'm told it's a horror film, and I'm going to go see it with those thoughts in mind, like, oh, well, I'm ex I'm not expecting it to just be like some old man reading about witches, and it's not <laughs> like a, mo a documentary or something. It's like it's a horror film. I've seen the trailer. I know what I'm going to go see. I kind of go in with. And I always try to lower my, uh, my you know, preconceptions of the film. Like what I, I don't try to overhype it for myself. Even if it's something like, like a Deadpool or a Batman v Superman, something mm -hmm. I'm, I've been excited about to see for many, many years. Even for Batman and Superman, it's like I want to go in. I don't want to be too excited because ultimately the film is not going to do what you want it to do. The film is just what it is. And so the more you come into any kind of film with preconceived ideas the more it'll disappoint you, you know, because you're coming in with your own ideas. It's not about your ideas, but what it's trying to give you. Yeah. So you have to be receptive to when you see a film. With that, with that I just want to say, like, I go see a comedy, I want, I want to laugh. If I don't laugh, I think the comedy failed. I go see a science fiction film, if it didn't make me think about things, think about the future, think about the past, I think it failed. So you're going in with the specific genres, you have a science fiction comedy, you know, then you go in with those kinds. So there's all the melding and merging of different genres too. Ultimately, I think what you said is right. It has to make you, it, when you walk away, films that are real successes to me is if I'm still talking about them a couple days later, yeah. you know? Those are ones that are, that resonate with you, that meant something that to you, that, meant, that made you think about even your personal life or things about how they related to other films. How do they stack up? If they don't stack up, they don't count. Yeah, that's adorable. As a professional movie <laughs> reviewer, uh, I never go into a movie as a movie critic. I go in as a fan. I want the two E's. I want to be entertained and I want to be engaged. I do my best to leave all the baggage and all the either hype or dread about wanting to see a movie at the door. I want to go in there and sit there as fresh as possible. I agree with you a little bit, Schnapp. I think it's important to know what the genre is. If it's a horror movie, I'm going to brace myself a little bit because sure. I, you know, I will freak out at a horror movie occasionally. If it's a comedy, I go in and I want to laugh. I'm going to be smiling when the movie starts because I give it the break that I think it deserves. I laughed at some of Zoolander 2 at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then the laughs just started to kind of dwindle and exist into nothing at all but I like being entertained so sometimes I can forgive a movie if it didn't have the greatest story in the world or didn't have the greatest acting in the world if it made me enjoy watching it if I didn't feel like I wasted my time but the engagement is the big thing to me I want to feel like I'm there I don't want to feel like I'm just in a theater watching a movie I want to feel like I'm a part of this story that's the biggest thing for me then when I leave you can talk about all the other technical aspects and whether mm -hmm. this happened or this happened but sometimes when you leave a movie I'm never one of those guys that talks to other 
different people about the movie as I'm walking out of the theater. I don't like doing that. I like having my own thoughts and I walk out and just on the ride home, I just kind of piece together what it is I just saw. If I loved it initially, if I hated it initially, why those feelings exist. So when you see a movie, don't be so quick to just rant and rave about it on Twitter. Take some time, think about what you just saw or be like me and post an emoji to Instagram right away. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.